Coachman Apex 288 Bunkhouse here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a 5,100 pound super slide ultra light piece of lightweight camping goodness right here. Uh, guaranteed to uh, please everybody and maybe one person more. And that's pretty impressive considering, never mind. Anyway, moving on. This, uh, I've always liked the Apex series because they're uh, as close to bulletproof as any lightweight can get. And by that, what I mean is they're, they're smart, they're streamlined, they're very effective, they spend the money on a lot of structural items. They hold together very well. And they've proven themselves with a, an absolutely sterling service record the last two or three seasons here um, as, as a, a very appropriate camper for people that are very active and go and do and use them a lot. Uh, and it's, it's smart little things like we've got just an all aluminum structure here to help keep the weight down in the structure up and obviously a big slide in 5100 pounds they're doing that but the things you're going to use every day you're going to get in and out of your storage every single day so they give you a wider door they use heavier duty automotive seals so that you don't wear those seals out they use thicker heavier laminated doors so that they're stronger hold together longer and uh, they're an insulative barrier because that's your master bed that's right under here also just the simple easy uh, magnet latches and slam latches the hold backs and things like that again you're going to be in and out of this every day it's nice that it works and uh, that means that this hinge is going to get quite the workout so they protect it from the weather to help make that thing last as long as it can and you're going to see series of little things like that applied over and over and over again. Um, these guys, they have classic design with modern style and refinement, and they're just the very best at doing that. Um, th this layout is really not extremely new by any means. It's just that they've touched it up and done it so well, and that's what I like about them. Uh, little detail things like they didn't have to spend more money to come up with a, they, they basically have an artist that put together these really attractive graphics up here. It makes them look really three dimensional and they, they further that by accent coloring the front and rear walls. This is a little bit darker than the side wall. It's not just the shading from the sun here. It gives it a very nice deep three dimensional look and feel and that's again something you'll see carried through. Uh, the integrated A-frame up here, that helps keep the whole trailer riding lower. Um, the argument is that someone's going to say, well, the integrated A-frame is stronger than a tacked-on A-frame, like this over here. They're going to say the integrated A-frame is stronger. Um, I can't really find any data that supports that. I, I've, I've heard that pitch, but I can't find any data that supports it. But what I can tell you is this trailer can ride lower to the ground because the, the, you've got the frame, the A-frame on the tongue, and then you've got the base chassis doesn't have to sit on top of that. So the whole thing can just be uh, a little more lower profile and easy towing, lower center of gravity. We've got enclosed, heated underbelly, good extended season camper. It's an ultralight. No, it's not four seasons. Get that out of your head. Ultralights can't be four seasons. These little bitty campers, they're not four seasons. Nobody builds a four seasons teeny tiny little camper. I don't care what their marketing guy tells you. I have real world experience and people who have invested tens of thousands of dollars say otherwise. So... There you have it. Uh, seal gripping, leak preventing slide walls. You see that really rough textured skin on there? That's what pulls these seals all the way in and out. And notice, I mean, when it's whether it's in or out, you've got all these heavy duty, really aggressive seals to keep this thing in great, great shape. Tinted windows give you privacy, keep the interior cooler. Um, the one that we're looking at could be different from the one we have in stock. There's a package that can put a, a fancy pants, uh, you know, painted nose cap on it. There's a package that can put frameless windows on it. We decided not to put that on this one. We decided that uh, we'd keep this one a little more aggressive. And uh, what's funny is equally effective. The fancy upgrade cosmetic packages don't do more for you. They look cool. Don't get me wrong. They look they look stellar. But um, we we thought you know. There's a lot of brands that build this floor plan. We'd bring one in, kind of loaded up. We'd bring one in uh, a little simple uh, for the, the people who want a very solid uh, lightweight but just don't want to go broke buying it. And that's kind of what this is going to represent. Um, nice aluminum wheels, of course. They, I mean, tell me this thing doesn't look great. Just even how many trailers can you walk behind and say, wow, that still looks good. And this is one of them. They've just done such a good job with their color contrast, and they really, really nailed it. Their designer did a very good job doing that. Now, uh, this has a very popular feature, that rear door right there. Pardon me with the, the corners of the other campers coming in. We've just got trailers piling in quicker than I can get to them right now, and unfortunately, they're, they're close together currently. But this has a very popular feature with this uh, rear bathroom entry door. 
and uh, that gives you the, uh, the uh, ability here just to hop straight in and out. You're going to have drastically reduced foot traffic through your trailer, um, and that just means easier cleaning. Now, someone's going to look at this and say, oh, they went cheap and only put two steps on it. Ask yourself why they only put two steps on it. There are some brands that go cheap, but riddle me this. Why does the why, why are these two steps right here actually lower to the ground and easier get to than this triple step over here on brand X? Why is that? Well, they got three steps. That must mean they're better. Or these guys could have a lower center of gravity and lower riding chassis that's easier to tow and get in and out. That's what I mean by the differences in Apex. It's, it goes beyond just skin deep here, folks. Here's a big thing they do. Asdell. Instead of Luon, directly under this fiberglass skin right here, they have this, here, let me shield the sun, this white material there called Asdell. Um, it, it's not water absorbent. Wood is an awesome material. There's nothing wrong with wood. It's a good insulator. It's inexpensive. It's easy to work with. It's very flexible um, in, in its applications, but it's a water-starved material. If it's exposed to water, it's going to suck it right up and hold on to it. This stuff is melted pop bottles. It can't absorb water. It, it can't. It's plastic. It can't do that. But it's also 50% lighter, roughly, than a Luan sheet that helps keep the whole weight down. Again, 5,100 pounds with a big slide. Not everybody can pull that off. Um, also, it has a... Uh, uh, oh, I forgot to turn my battery box back on. Pardon me. Little blooper for the reel here. Obviously, I don't strip material. There we go. Anyway, so this uh, wall has uh, better insulative qualities than Luan. It's lighter. Um, if you can manage to get the skin to delaminate from the frame of this, you've already got bigger problems because at that point, the trailer's probably totaled for other reasons. It's an incredible bonding agent. Um, now, you'll notice, too, they've got these nice uh, LED lights right on the speakers and under the awning. Now, here in the daytime, it's not terribly impressive. But at night, this is what it looks like. You, you light up a couple of these apexes next to each other and the entire camping corridor glows this neon blue. You can see everything. It's really fun. Uh, you're out there like, oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, we had a couple of these things lit up and people were stopped getting off the highway, stopping and looking at these things. Well, what is going on over there? So uh, right as you walk in, we've got this, uh, like I said, very classic design. Uh, these are classic designs with just modern style and refinement. Um, you know, the uh, the big stand, if you will, or cabinet right when you walk in with a shoe garage below, that is old school, classic coachman stuff. But the thing is, it works. You know, like a crocodile. It doesn't have to change to be deadly effective, and that's exactly what we're looking at. All of your countertops, whether it's the kitchen, the bathroom, here, the table, anywhere, they're all a sealed, pressed membrane. They're not T-molded. Water can't get in here and sponge and swell. That actually allows them, if they wanted to, they could undermount the sink. Um, they, they don't on apexes, uh, just because they really want to showcase their nicer stone cast sink that they have here. It's a, uh, uh, not a, uh, a cheaper plastic or um, what do they call it, composite. The, your snake oil salesman, that's a composite sink. Those guys are always fun. I, I, <laughs> anyway, um, so right when we walk in, I want to mention real quick, this is the um, espresso decor because every manufacturer has something that sounds like coffee for a decor. Um, there's different fabric tones available. So if the next one we have in stock it, again, it might have a different fabric. It might have different equipment packages. This video is here just to give you an idea of the 288 and what it brings to the table for you and your family. Um, let's start right over here. We've got the big slide, and this is a classic. It's called galley and living slide out. So a galley meaning kitchen, and that's more of a marine term than an RV term. And then just your, your sofa slide out. But instead of pillows that, frankly, most people never use and all the kids do is throw them at each other, and uh, they, they give you this nice little apex emblazoned fleece throw blanket. Now that's something you're, you're going to use. And it's funny because, you know, living in Michigan, where these are from, in the wintertime it's cold, we'll show people these campers, they'll sit down and wrap up with the blanket and sit in it for a little bit. It's always funny to watch that. Now, this is an above-floor slide-out. Why does that matter? Well, one, it's lighter weight. Two, it's carpetless. No carpet. Anywhere. This is a completely carpetless floor plan, except for maybe the carpet square by the door so I can wipe off my dirty feet. It is easy-peasy cleaning in this thing. Now, they, they, they could have given you a little bit bigger window here, but you'd have lost that storage. This is a family camper. 
You've got to have storage. Every ounce counts. I say that all the time, and it's so true. Every ounce counts when it comes to storage. So you need that stuff. Uh, all LED lighting, so it's very energy efficient. These are excellent dry camp campers. So if you're going out of the park where you don't have power hookup, because everything can be uh, uh, tailored to uh, a very minimal power draw. Remember, all aluminum framework, this is laminated all over the place. You've got laminated sidewalls, rear wall, roof, floor, um, everything aluminum framed and laminated to keep the weight down. Now, uh, some people are concerned with laminated roofing that, uh, you know, all you've got is a, a, effectively a, a bead foam air channel, and they're worried that that could build up condensation, and that could be a mold problem. And in theory, it could be, which is why Apex actually lines all of their AC outlets, or pardon me, AC ducting, not outlets, with a, uh, I call it like a cereal box. It looks like a, a, a tinfoil wrapped foam uh, cereal box. So it's a double insulated AC duct to help prevent that condensation and let it blow out so it doesn't sit and soak into anything. Uh, good uh, kitchen space here too. You're going to look at it, and we only tend to look at things in two dimensions, and especially just on a video like this, because you don't get to see the three-dimensional effect. You look at just that. You look at how wide the kitchen is, and you say, oh, that's not very big. But you need to also look in three dimensions and look at all of the countertop space that goes behind your appliances. You've got about an extra 12 to 18 inches of extra appliance and storage space back here that you don't typically get in an RV. That's one of the advantages of a kitchen slide out. Now, if you have countertop space, guess what you have below that? Big old chunk of cabinet space. You've got very good cabinet space in this little bitty camper. 5,100 pounds. This is, this is 10 pounds of RV in a five pound sack. Um, the double over double bunks have become the dominant force in the RV business. They give you maximum sleeping capacity. They're good for big and small kids. And something that they've done uh, really well here is they've included these little bedside stands, these little shelves um, uh, uh, in, the, in both bunks so that the kids have a place to keep their phones and all that stuff going. Very handy for rainy days. And again, you see that every bunk has its own window and own light. And 300-pound uh, best-in-class uh, bunk capacity. Um, there, I've never seen anyone that does more than that. That appears to be the industry maximum. They don't bother rating the lower bunk because there's so much construction under it. It's just not a concern. Built-in bunk ladder, so you don't got to heave the kids to the upper bunk. Although, my daughter would probably like that. You know, every time we're in, like, the pool and I toss her in there, she's like, again! And I'm like, Dad's fat and he's tired. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Storage, we talked about that. No such thing as too much. And that's one of the benefits of this floor plan is they did try to give you too much. This is uh, like just a big old generic overhead hat, closet, whatever, whatever you want to put in it. Um, and this is obviously designed to be hanging closet here, but being wide open like it is, you could easily put like one of those little plastic shelf organizer units in there and customize it to whatever you need. Um, and a really smart decision by moving the uh, refrigerator over here instead of trying to shove it in with the kitchen they allowed the the floor plan to really open up quite a bit here and that's what's nice about this slide out um most people when they go camping they're going to go outside but if you're stuck inside or when it's nighttime we're getting ready for you know we're using the bathroom we're brushing our teeth and stuff this extra walkway space in here is so nice and the lighter colors uh, on like your flooring and your wall panels against this darker, almost, I don't know, walnut-ish, whatever you want to call it, wood tones. It's the, the light dark contrast that is just so very popular right now looks very, very good. And I love the tie-in, uh, that little um, shower curtain there, the way it ties into the exterior as well. Very well uh, uh, thought out. Um, I'm willing to bet they have a lady interior designer down at Apex. Probably why everything in here looks so good. Look at the thickness of these interior walls too. They didn't skimp on construction. They, these things are really beefy where they need to be, and that's what's really nice. Both a skylight and a power vent fan instead of one or the other, as is pretty common in the lightweight world. Some do it, some don't. It's not standard. That's why I pointed out. Foot flush stool, just handy little niceties, things like that. Remember, waterproof sink there, so if you're splashing water, the kids splash water around. No big deal. Um, we have sliding pocket privacy doors. Uh, up on the front bedroom area so you can enclose that to have nice privacy. The TV can spin around. We're actually looking at the back of the TV enclosure right now. Um, the uh, upgrade packages I mentioned, the one that gives you the fancy nose cap, there's also going to be like an indirect LED light that goes up there. It looks good. Um, I mean, the, there's no such thing. It's nice to have extra lighting in here. But again, tell me that this isn't sufficient. Tell me that this doesn't get all of the jobs done. This camper does all of the things, and it does them very well. Um, big window over here next to your dining table, too, so you can look out under your awning, keep an eye on the kids. Um, 
TV is going to be included. We have to pull those out for storage purposes. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player, so all your entertainment needs are met, which is really nice, too, because there's also going to be, like, USB charge stations for the whole family all over the place here. Because we all have, you know, phones and what, you know, what, smart watches and stuff now, all kinds of things. Minimal bedroom, but remember, it's a camper. It's not a house, you know. Go outside, have a good time. You're here just to sleep, wake up, and do stuff, you know. Um, that's the point. Now, there are power outlets down here. You see that white power outlet right next to the side of the, the bed next to the stand so you can run your breathing machines and stuff. And again, good materials. Plywood, you know, not OSB. OSB is not the end of the world. If there's an OSB bed deck on something that's not like, OMG, don't you buy that. It's just, which would you rather have? You know, it's not the, the ones, the worst thing in the world. It's just, what would you rather have? Um, and a really large overhead storage compartment is nice too. Also, I want to point out these are pocket screwed cabinets. This is this is screwed into here uh, rather than um, stapled together. So up front here, where this thing's going to rattle and bounce and shake and rattle and roll a bunch, it's it's going to take care of things fine. Love that little shoe garage. I'm a sucker for things like that. Wow, we went off a long time on this thing. So give us a call, learn a little bit more. Hitching pieces, parts, financing, trades, accessories, and everything in between. We'll park this thing right in your driveway. And I don't care where you live, there is no such thing as too far away to buy from Halet RV, no matter what the other dealer tells you. So, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.